Time for the Reds. Give it up for Cars, Kryptonite. Tonight, Cuz Annette versus the Force, Paul Fagan. Annette comes forward, stalking. Both men land immediately with the jab, and they're both nice and solid as well. Light on their feet, good movement from both. And Annette's the man closing the gap, forcing Fagan to work. A couple of good body shots exchanged there. Said both men light on their feet, focused. Nice body movement from Fagan to make Annette's miss there. But Annette is taking centre ring, pushing forward. Doubled up to head and body though, did Fagan. Annette stalking him. Looks to land to the body himself. Fagan just didn't know where he was just for a second there. Regrouped quickly, kept his head up. The way they go again. And it's Annette's pushing forward once more. He's taken the centre of the ring from the start of the round. But shopped a big right there and he felt that. And Fagan pushing forward. Now Annette's tucking up. Looking to fire back with his own right. And then lands his own right to head and body as well. Took that shot well and came back to Fagan because it was a great right hand from Fagan so both men have had their successes both men felt the power of the other now good stiff jab from Fagan Annette pops his own jab out oh short right and Annette felt that he staggered and he goes down to one knee and it was a short chopping right from Fagan that did the damage there and Annette seemed to take it and then staggered and went down to one knee So it was an excellent short right hand from Fagan and he'll look for it again now with just 10 seconds left and he lands it again. And Annette wobbles once more in his own corner and he goes down again. Right at the end of the round, and gets a second count. Corner look to him. He looks to get up gamely. He's there, he's taking the count. He's gonna have to dig deep. So Annette in the red corner, gamely up, dropped twice but just won't stop. But Fagan, they were good shots and he's starting the second. How he finished the word first, I think he feels a stoppage here. But Annette's going for it now. How game is this man coming back and really going for it himself? And suddenly he catches Fagan and you can hear the crowd's response. And now it's Fagan's turn to back up. These rights from Annette have got him twisting and turning. And Annette, what a game comeback. Looking to go again. Dropped twice in the first and doing his best to come back here in the second. Fagan regrouping now and that right hand of his has been a danger the whole night. But Annette really going for it again. 
All credit to this man in the red corner after that first round to come back like that. Fagan looking for that big right that worked for him in the first. And that's moving better here in the second though. Takes another short right here, but he comes forward again. The crowd warming to this man in the red as he really tries to turn this second round into his own after that first round. Crowd at fever pitch here as he tries so hard. Fagan stiff left to the body. He knows he's got the power in the right, but Annette has really come through. And again, his right comes through the channel. And Fagan turning away now, forced to turn in his own corner. Annette has put everything into this second round. All credit to him. This is what it's about, Zero to Hero, the warrior effort, the never say die attitude. And with just 10 seconds left, it's the first time in this round that Fagan has had an opportunity and Annette comes at him again. And he pushes at him once more. What a round for the man in the red corner after the opening round for the blue. So third and final round and what a comeback by Annette and the crowd appreciate that. This is what Zero to Hero is all about. And Annette's pushing forward once more, win or lose. He's become a real hero here tonight and he's asking all sorts of questions of Fagan now. And Fagan on his bike, looking to move and land that big right that sorted it out last time. But Annette really pushing forward once more with real heart. Let's not forget Fagan's heart. He had a torrid second round and he's still here in the third. This is what it's about. Two men here giving their all and leaving it all in the ring. Fagan, there's that right hand that was so dangerous in the first. And Annette's stalking again. He doesn't want to get caught again, he knows that. But he knows he needs to continue going forward like he did in the second if he's going to win this. And he really is going for it. And the crowd respond to his efforts here. And Fagan will have to stop, stand his ground and do the same if he's to get the win. Oh, stiff left from him this time. And there's the right that worked from him in the first. Annette comes back with his own left this time though. And the Nets has done everything in his power to turn this around. Fagan has shown his genuine power when he's managed to land the right hand. But both men are so tired now after all this effort. And the Nets is feeling the pace again, but he's still throwing leather. Fagan looking to come back as well. Last 10 seconds, and Fagan forced to turn away as the Nets really pours it on once more. Fagan warned it won't matter, they're both going to make it. Heroic effort from both men. What a great way to finish the evening. Okay, let's get noisy as we announce the winner. And unanimous decision in the blue corner.